Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. All right, today it's Friday and we have a Dollar Tree haul. Y'all, I am so excited for this Dollar Tree haul because I found so many brand new Easter finds um, that I'm so excited to share with you. Now, let me say I've got all the windows open, so if you hear the wind chimes or birds, um, I have, and I have the dishwasher going, so I'm sorry if there's like some background noise. But, as always, I love to start my videos with my most favorite thing, and there's a lot of good things in this video. And I found so many good things, but it has to be these signs. Oh my gosh, I love these signs so much. I love like the rugged vintage look of these. I love that it's black and white and kind of gray. I love it. I think these signs are absolutely perfect. So, let me show you this one up close in case you haven't seen this one yet. Look at that. Oh, it says uh, Bunny Trail Farms Egg Hunts Daily, 25 cents a basket. I mean, look how cute that is. That one. And then this one is Happy Easter Cottontails. I love everything is Cottontails. I love it. Um, Cottontails Farm Fresh Eggs. Look at that. And you've got like the little barn back here. I love these. Now, these are signs. Yes, and they've got a hanger. I'm not hanging mine. I am going to decorate with these. These are going to probably be like on a little easel or something. And we're going to decorate with them. And I got these carrots. So Dollar Tree brought these carrots back, and I can't remember if these are a little bit bigger than they had last year, but it's on you know, the little stick, so it's a carrot pick. But how cute will this be? De decorate, um, put you some greenery, some carrots, or the, you know, the little carrots that they have, or we're gonna make some carrots. I've got quite a few different like carrot ideas. Uh, small and big ones. I wanna make some big, large carrots. So, I mean, all of this was greenery. Oh, and maybe, you know, like, and maybe like a couple of like the Dollar Tree Easter eggs or something with them. But I just think these, but I just, I seriously, I love these. That. Okay, so I did grab two packages of these. I kind of like jumped ahead, but I did get two of these. I love them. I don't know if you've seen these. Let's see that. Perfect. That is right there. It's wrapped in like twine, orange and yellow twine, and of course it's on the little stick. We'll pick. So these are great to decorate with. These are great to add into any arrangement, even if you just have like some greenery somewhere. Pop this in there, add it to any wreath. Okay, <laughs> I found some more signs. Y'all, oh my gosh, I'm telling you, this seriously is the best year and i think the best selection for dollar tree signs i mean the they killed it on these easter ones they they're perfect okay so this one is cottontail farms annual easter market bunny trails carrots and candy bunny parking in back <laughs> do you see that i love how it's like it's framed out like they have like that extra piece to look like a frame so i love this one they also had it in pink and white. This one is Bunny Trail Farms, open daily nine to five, locally grown. Some carrots once again, some eggs all around this with greenery, some flowers. Farm fresh eggs and produce, established 1925. It's great. And let me tell you, Hobby Lobby um, has the cutest lettuce and cabbage like fake lettuce fake cabbage um i buy some every year i love decorating with it so something like that like propped around these would be great all right and then we have the classic the black and the white see that one all right we have cotton tails pick your own carrot patch oh my gosh that's where carrots put just some carrots around this you do not, you do not have to hang this. More than likely, I'm either gonna rip this off or I'll just you know, kind of lay it down the back, tape it down the back or something, but just decorate with it. You know, you don't have to hang these. Once again, um, Dollar Tree says those little easels back like where the picture frames are. You could prop that up, 
Leaving this to get something on a shelf, any like on a shelf or console table. But I love it. And I just, I love this black, white, and orange. So just any kind of carrots, big, little, whatever you have. Okay, the last of the signs, and then we'll move on to something else. But oh, <laughs> it's so good. Seriously, so cute. I mean, do you see how cute this is? Once again, it's perfect. The only thing, like I personally, I wish that they would have added like that extra like frame. How this looks like it has like the frame around it. I wish they would have done it to this, but it's got like the burlap backing. See, it's like the burlap that goes all the way around it. But, oh my gosh, the coloring, Cottontail Company, Easter Egg Farm, fill your basket, open daily. So cute. Have you a really cute, and Dollar Tree has little cute Easter baskets. Like a cute little basket, fill it with like some shred or some like Easter grass, have some eggs in it. So cute. Such a cute display that you can make with this. Then they had this one. I mean, look how cute. They are so good. And I'm telling you, the coloring that they use, this little like teal colored truck, I love that for spring. Um, pick your own carrot patch. Fruits, herbs, veggies, farm fresh daily. So cute. Once again, if you make it to like a Hobby Lobby, some of that like cabbage and faux carrots, all that around this could be so cute. And I just realized, looking at this like up close, there's like a little bunny rabbit in the trunk bed. Right there, there's a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> but these, I, I love them, seriously. Okay, this one. Look how perfect. Seriously. I tell you what, this print, like the print, not so much like the backing, but this print, all of these really is something that you could find at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's for a lot more expensive, but Dollar Tree is giving it to us for $1.25. You know, now if you don't like this backing, you could very easily frame this. You could put, um, pull this off, add this to anything else. You, know, you could pull it off this, actually that's coming up really easy. <laughs> actually it's just stapled on. Yeah, there's little staples that's holding it on. So you could very easily just pop that off and put it in a frame or something else. But this one is Hippity Hops. That's adorable. Hippity Hops Carrot Patch, organic, locally grown, 25 cents. Show you that again. I love them. Okay, so that is it for all the cute new signs that I have found so far. Okay. Then I was so excited that I found the bunny butts. <laughs> I mean, look how adorable. It's little bunny bottoms. You got a little blue, little blue feet, little pink feet. They're on a stick, so it's a pick. But these are so cute. I have seen so many people add these to like pots or planters and add flowers and carrots. Adorable. But I would love to try to think of something different to do with them. But <laughs> They're so cute. So I was really excited to find these right there. Love them. I found the pom-poms. So I found this beautiful, bright pink pom-pom. You get three yards, so nine feet. These are great added to any little ribbon bundle that you're gonna make. I found this beautiful, bright, like neon green. Look how pretty that is. Love these fun, bright colors. Also this bright yellow. Look how cute. And this right here, this yellow is great for lemon decor and bee decor this spring and summer. So even if you don't want all these other colors, think about this yellow for lemon and bee decor. That one. And then they have this really pretty blue, which actually matches my shirt. <laughs> but they have this really pretty blue color. So I love all of these. So Dollar Tree. So if you're new to Dollar Tree shopping, they have done this every holiday so far. 
and I hope they keep doing it. And maybe even like after the holidays, just year round, white, black, red, blue. I have red, white, and blue that I've added to things for like 4th of July. But these are great. I found the cookies. So once again, every holiday, they have been bringing us these cookies. These are fun to decorate with because they're so vibrant. Look at that yellow. Look how bright and fun and just beautiful that shade of yellow is. And it's a cookie. I mean, you can really eat this. For Valentine's Day, um, Riley, Riley ate his, and it was a really good cookie, you know? I've heard some people say that they didn't like it, but I mean, we didn't mind it. So the yellow, this beautiful pink. See, this one has like the zigzags. This one had like the little like ribbon detail. The screen also has like that ribbon curling detail. And then here is blue and it has the zigzag. And like I said, these are great to like um, decorate with, but these are also will look so cute in Easter baskets. You know, just that bright pop of color in an Easter basket. Then I found, okay, and then I found they have the pretzel rods back. So right here, it's a two pack of pretzel rods. They are dipped in white chocolate and then have like purple and green. Um, then they have like purple and green icing. Actually, I'll open one for you. So these will be really cute, like on a coffee bar area, like a, um, like a tier tray, like coffee bar area or something. But also will be great for um, an Easter basket. And look, it will also be great for an Easter basket. But you see, it's covered all the way down. Okay. The whole entire pretzel rod is covered in white chocolate and then that purple and green um, icing, like the little zigzags. But these are really good. Riley, once again, Valentine's Day, they had them. The kids both got one for Valentine's Day and Riley loved them. He ended up eating Presley's too. <laughs> but these are really good. Like I said, you get a two pack. So you could either, like I said, put this in an Easter basket, open this up, put it down in a coffee mug or something and just decorate with it. So grab two of these, one for each kid. And then I grabbed this new garland. Look at this really cute garland that they have this year. It looks like a necklace. I mean, <laughs> you can wear it as a necklace if you wanted, but, but it's a garland. So it is, it does not say how long it is. So let's open this up. All right, it's a circle, but all you have to do is untie this. Let's see how long it is. All right, so right there, this would be so cute if you got you like three of these. So look how cute this is. And this, you could get you a couple of these and tie them together and like have it like swaying across like your mantle or a console table or um, like your coffee bar area, a tiered tray or like on a shelf or something. But I kind of thought too, because you have all of this twine, all this extra twine, you could take like one of like, you know, like the wooden ornaments that they always have that you know you can paint or stain and tie one onto the bottom of this. They have carrots and chicks and rabbits. So you could add anything you wanted to the bottom. You could do one on each end, do something different. But I just think that would be so cute. And look, I mean, this is a really good size for just this one. I found the Easter straws. These are so cute to decorate with. Seriously, pop these down into any coffee mug. And it doesn't have to be an Easter mug or a Ray Dunn mug. Just a plain white coffee mug from Dollar Tree. And put all these colorful straws just down in there. And it's cute. It looks great on any tear tray or any shelf. Um, just sitting over by your coffee pot, you know. But you see all the pretty colors. And you get 18 straws in here. And we may do like a little DIY with these, but I'm not sure yet. But regardless, they're cute to decorate with. So those, I found the carrot wire wreath frame. 
So I'm excited for this. Now, okay, when I bought this, I actually had a lady ask me what I was gonna do with it in the store. Um, you can make a, a deco mesh wreath out of this. So what you can do is you can take some orange deco mesh from Dollar Tree, wrap it around it. You could add flowers to this. You could um, take burlap or twine. You could take like burlap, wrap it around it. You could take wooden beads. You could like cut, see like right here. You could like cut that, add you a bunch of little wooden beads to it and then hot glue it back. There's just so many different ways that you could craft with this. You could, um, you could do like green deco mesh up top. You could do greenery coming out the top. But this is something that we will do together. I just haven't decided like what I want to do with it just yet. But we are going to do a video of like <laughs> doing something with it. Okay, so in the Crafter Square section, I grabbed these. They have the sheer round. This is not Easter, but it's just little foam beads. But I thought the colors is perfect for Easter. So it's just all these little bitty, just little foam balls. To where like say if we did like a faux topper or something, you could sprinkle these on the top to look like um to look like sprinkles or something like that. But I just thought this would be cute to try to do something with. But I, just, I thought all these like pastel colors was like perfect for Easter. So that's where I got that one. Okay, and just the last thing that I have, I grabbed this package of carrot eggs. <laughs> look how cute this package of they're Easter eggs. They're eggs, but they look like carrots. So let's open this up. <laughs> look how cute. That is adorable. And I want to go get me, I think, another package of them. But these are so cute. And when I saw these, I had like a craft idea that we may do with these. Because like I said, I want to make a bunch of carrot stuff. And, you know, like I said, these signs. Carrots, any kind of carrots decorate around this, but we could do something really cute with these right here. And I mean, this is adorable as is. Let's see, and it does open. So you can put like some candy in here. And I don't know if I said you get three. Okay, so that is it. I hope that y'all had a happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, sadly, I now have to take all the cute little stuff down but, I, but I'm so excited because I get to decorate for Easter. I love it. I love mixing all like the pastel colors, but I also love the black, white, and oranges together. So I'm excited about that. And next week we will start like doing DIYs again. Like we didn't do any crafts this week because y'all, I have seriously been in my craft room all week <laughs> trying to declutter it. I get so much anxiety being in there and I want to clean it out so I can actually like go in there and craft versus like always sit like in the kitchen. I want to actually be in my craft room. So I'm really like working hard on trying to like declutter and get stuff cleaned out. But um, I think my family is right. I can admit I am a craft hoarder. When it comes to like Dollar Tree stuff and like crafts and ribbon, I have an obsession with ribbons from all the years that I made wreaths. Um, so yeah, it's, I have totes on, I have totes and bags everywhere there. Yeah, so I'm hoping that like next week we will start Easter crafts. I have all kinds of ideas of like Easter stuff that I want to do and especially carrots because I want to have like a whole like carrot patch type thing. So hopefully before too long, we'll actually be like in my craft room crafting <laughs> and decorating. I mean, I would love to do something cute in there. So I have thought about like filming it. I took a little video, but y'all, I'm not one who thinks to constantly bring out my camera. You know, I don't think to film myself all the time. So I'm trying to work on that <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff that I do around here. I just don't show it. So, oh, and then for several of you have like asked how my hand is doing. It is healing um, for my hot glue burns. The scabs have like have fallen off, but now it's like, the skin and if you had, had and if you had like a really bad burn you know what I'm talking about the skin is now like really pink and like tender so like even to like ow so to like stretch my fingers out all the way hurts if I touch it or if I grab like a doorknob or something like yeah so I'm still 
you can see, like right, it's really a bright red, like there and there, and up here on my pinky. But it is getting better. So those of you that have been asking me about it, thank you. Thank you for like thinking about me and caring. I really, truly appreciate it. So, but okay, I will stop rambling. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, so let me just say, if you're in Louisville, um, I, every store I went to had everything that you've seen. They are all fully stocked. The Westport Road one, so the Westport Road Dollar Tree, Springhurst Dollar Tree. I went to the uh, Taylorsville Road Dollar Tree over by like TJ Maxx and um, Party City. They had, that store was so stocked and organized, I was amazed. <laughs> I mean, there was two little ladies in there and like they were just stocking, like they were organizing everything in it and they were doing such an amazing job. Yeah. So like I said, if you're in Louisville, check out Taylorsville Road, Westport Road, and Springhurst. So, okay. <laughs>